All right, hey guys. So this morning I was trying to get my Logitech G604 mouse to work properly and the software is honestly pretty confusing and frustrating and it doesn't work very well. But after doing enough research and work, I figured out how to get it working the way that I wanted it to. And anyways, this is just uh, basically a straightforward setup to get it working where it won't auto switch profiles all the time on you. Okay. Okay, so here we are in the Logitech G Hub software. So I got the G604 connected. Um, and so yeah, here it is. So where we wanna go is up here, where it says uh, desktop default. Yeah, so for me, right? Um, so for me, I was trying to play some Black Ops 3 this morning and it the profile kept switching back to the desktop whenever I would alt tab out, which was really frustrating. Um, and I wanted it just to stay on the Black Ops 3 profile, right? or at least like the bindings that I wanted. So what you wanna do is, seems kind of counterintuitive, right? So you'll disable the profile switching for this application. Um, and you'll basically just wanna do this for if you're playing a game and you wanna have like the custom macros work on it on the mouse. Um, so you just disable that. And I actually went through and disabled it for the other games uh, that I play as well. Um, you can do that if you want. It might be simpler to just do it for whatever game you're playing at the moment. That way you don't have to go through like the whole list and just turn them all off. You'll be able to do it over time, I guess. Um, and then now, so you're not going to be using these automatic profiles anymore. What you're going to be doing is you'll click um, add a profile for the selected apps. So you see I have a few here. Um, here, let me just delete this one actually since I can go through the setup and show you guys. So so I already have one made for Black Ops 3 that I did earlier, um, and there's the default one. So let's create one. Okay, so, okay, let's make this, okay, my Skyrim profile. Okay, so anyways, now what you wanna do is you wanna go in here, and now it's activated, right? So now you're on this profile. It's not gonna be switching around because you you would have already disabled it for Skyrim at this point um, in the, like, in the previous thing we were just doing. So anyways, we're, so now here we are in the mouse and what you wanna do is just make sure you set the sensitivity right the way you want. Um, and here, this is like another important thing. Uh, so you can probably, you can map it to like any of these buttons you want, but for me, I find like the DPI down to be pretty easy to press. And I don't, I honestly almost never switch DPIs when I'm playing games anyways. So I find this is a bit easier to, to it's a it's a good spot to map it to. So you want to put the profile switch profile cycle um, button. You want to map it there. So you just drag it and drop it there, and then it'll ask you if you want to apply it to all your desktop profiles. So I would click uh, I'd click yes on this just because it makes it consistent, um, and then you can map this to something else depending on whatever game you want. But now you'll so now if you press that that button here. The, I guess it's got the minus sign on it. Um, it'll actually switch profiles for you. So this way, the it won't automatically be switching to the game and back to the desktop because you've disabled it. It'll just it's it'll just um, switch between these profiles when you press the button. Uh, so let's say I want to play I want to play Black Ops Three, right? So I'll just cycle through, get to Black Ops Three, um, and and you can see here that I've already set it up the way I wanted to. So with like crouch and melee and all these things. Um, and so basically like, I think the main one you'll want is the profile cycle up here and then you can just set the rest to, you know, whatever you want depending on the game you're playing. Um, and this just stops it from, it'll just, this'll just let you keep that profile like on while you're playing that game and not have to worry about it switching away when you're alt tabbing out. Um, I hope I hope this made sense and you can also, up here, you can also uh, you can also duplicate the profiles. So let's say you like this setup, and maybe you're playing a similar game. Um, then you'll just duplicate it, and now here you have another version of it uh, with your DPI all set the way you want, and um, yeah, you can just just create it. Yeah, it's uh it's cool. It actually now that now that I've got this set up the way I wanted to, the mouse is actually working the way I wanted it to. Um, and it's great. So basically when it's set to these profiles, right, you can also just like literally click on them here to select the profile you want. And it's just going to permanent, it's going to stay like that until you press the profile cycle button to switch to a different one, um, which I think is like really cool.
And yeah, you can see me here cycling through the different profiles. Um, yeah, so it's basically as simple as that. It's, uh, it's, it's a bit roundabout and complicated way to do it, but honestly, Logitech just hasn't made this software very well. It's, it's not good. <laughs> I'm just going to be straight up. Um, so yeah, if you want to get your mouse working the way you want it to, I think this is the way to do it. All right. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you found that to be helpful, feel free to leave a like. And, uh, you know, if you want to see more content from me, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I post like fun gaming and like tech stuff on this channel. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Okay. All right. Johnny out.